Leaving a fig tree unpruned is not a good idea. Unpruned fig trees tend to produce lots and lots of branches that will cross and overlap each other. All these branches will try to produce fruits and that will result in many smaller low quality figs. To maintain all these fruits, the fig tree will have to use all its energy resources and available water. If the weather is hot and the tree is stressed, it might even drop all its leaves or fruits in order to survive. Most fig tree varieties will also grow very tall and most of the branches will be out of reach. These tall branches will receive most of the sunlight and they will produce the bigger and tastier fruits. Unfortunately, only the birds will eat them and the owner will have to settle for smaller fruits in lower branches. In the shadow of the taller branches, these fruits might not receive enough sunlight to mature properly and will need much more time to ripen. Time that you might not have if you are growing a late ripening variety in a colder area with a shorter growing season. So, to be able to maintain the fig tree balanced, we must remove some of the new taller growth. This will also help to keep the tree lower and the fruits within reach. Removing excessive growth and overlapping branches will also allow for better light penetration and bigger and quicker ripening fruits. Start by removing any suckers which grow near the main tree. Unchecked, these suckers can grow very large and remove essential energy from the main tree. Cut all lower hanging branches. These low branches will make managing the tree more difficult and being so low and in the shadow will rarely produce quality fruits. Remove all growth that is too high to reach. Fig branches are very flexible and you can bend them easily. Cut the top vertical growth near one or two lateral branches at the desired height. These lateral branches will avoid new vigorous regrowth that might emerge when heading a vertical branch. Check my videos on basic pruning techniques if you need more information on heading, thinning and other essential pruning techniques. Most fig varieties only produce figs on new growth, so you can safely reduce the height of taller, isolated branches. Nevertheless, Avoid having most of the one-year-old branches in varieties that produce figs in the spring on last year's growth. It's not a good idea to have all the one-year-old branches in these two crop varieties if you want to eat any figs from the first crop. Remove any high or medium diameter branches that grow towards the center of the tree so more light can get in. 
This will prevent most of the lower fruits from getting enough sun and to be able to develop and ripe properly. Remove branches that are overlapping. The lower branch will not get enough light and the figs won't grow and mature properly. You can remove the lower branch or the higher branch depending on what's best for the overall tree shape. If you need to remove some larger diameter branches, don't cut them all in the same year. Here I decided to remove this large diameter branch because of its bad position since it's growing towards the space between the tree rows. Another lower branch has grown too large and it's overlapping one of the three main scaffolds. I will probably cut it down next year, but I will let it stay for now, to avoid excessive stress to the tree. Here's the final pruning result. Here's the tree before pruning. And here's the tree after pruning. I could have removed a few more bad position branches, but there is no need to do it all at the same time. In most pruning jobs, it's better to use a conservative approach and avoid removing too many branches in the same year. This will reduce the impact of the pruning job and avoid the possibility of a cropless year due to excessive pruning. A balanced pruning job will help your tree produce bigger and tastier figs by helping the tree to concentrate its energy on less fruits. This will also allow the fruits to receive more sun and mature faster which is essential for growing late ripening varieties in colder areas with shorter growing seasons. Thanks for watching. Check the channel for other videos on several useful pruning techniques. If you appreciate my work, like, subscribe, share the video and leave a comment to help me make more. Click the bell to receive notifications of new videos.